I had read Aldo Leopold's A Sand County Almanac in one of my college classes and really fell in love with the land ethic. I was really interested in gaining a lot of the technical skills that I couldn't get in a classroom in college. So things like prescribed burn um, and heavy equipment operation were things that I really wanted to learn. I really was drawn to the way that Leopold talked about this place and the land and I kind of wanted to experience that for myself. Getting to live with my fellow cohort members has just enhanced this sense that we're not alone in this fight against environmental issues. This is a foundation that has a true mission that I relate to, uh, developing the land ethic in society. And the staff here really is a community. Some of the daily tasks I do as a land stewardship fellow um, include equipment maintenance, so keeping tools in tip-top shape is really important. So I clean and sharpen my chainsaw, um, fuel up the vehicles, sometimes make fuel runs and prepare other equipment. And then the days are really variable. Some days we're out on a burn, some days we are cutting, hauling, and piling brush in big burn piles. Other days it might be spraying out a unit of land with herbicide for restoration efforts. So it's really variable. We're outside most days. Uh, we have a few office days here and there, but um, we're mainly out working on the reserve. We've done several larger projects, including a project that we call the punch through, which is down by the shack. Historically, that area would have been a lot less wooded and there would have been a clear view to the river so in an effort to restore that view that Leopold would have had we cleared uh, a bunch of trees and woody brush to restore that Oak Barrens community and give a nice view down to the Wisconsin River from the shack. My favorite part of the fellowship is just exploring the land. Uh, it's just a really incredible privilege to have access to 1500 acres and be able to live and work on it. Um, so I get to experience nature both um, on a daily basis through my work here, but also on a personal level, just getting to explore the property. I think coming in, I had this notion that it would somehow be a really, really peaceful and quiet process, I guess. I wasn't really prepared for all the really hard work that goes into it, which has been really interesting to learn how to do that and to really reckon with the fact that we have a lot of work to do to kind of go back on the things that we've done to the natural landscapes. So I think it's been, been really special to really understand how you can work to restore a natural community and what really goes into that. I've never, I'd never really truly experienced that before the fellowship, so that's been a really important experience for me. My relationship with nature has shifted um, immensely since I've started the fellowship. Just being able to do a lot of identification training helps me see more detail on the landscape. So I now um, can look at a landscape and see, oh, the trees are way too dense and they need a thinning for the health of the stand, or this area could really benefit from fire. I notice if communities are mostly diverse native plant communities or if they are monocultures um, or have a lot of invasive species. So it definitely increases my appreciation of nature generally, realizing how rare diverse native communities actually are. Overall, I'm just really grateful to have this experience. It really is unique and something that's transformative and will stay with me for the rest of my life. So I'm really grateful for the land and the people that I've met here. Uh, my daily task as an EDCOM fellow uh, can vary quite a bit. We do get to lead tours, which is one of my favorite parts, um, getting to do environmental interpretation, a bit of historical interpretation, I feel like is one of the best ways to connect with people and introduce them to uh, the land ethic and the other ideas that Aldo Leopold has. And then other days we're still helping with kind of the daily, uh, you know, functional, foundational tasks um, in the office. And sometimes during the month, uh, we do actually get to go out and join the stewardship crew, uh, so we're still getting to do some of the hands-on work on the land. I 
wanted to join the fellowship so that I could help promote the land ethic and saw it as a really great opportunity to kind of dip my toes into the nonprofit world and get great experience and then also experience working in marketing and communications, which hopefully I will continue to do in the future. I think the biggest surprise I've had here is just how much of a hub of conservation work central Wisconsin, south central Wisconsin is. Sauk County and some of the surrounding counties have a lot of great organizations that we connect with um, and we've gotten to do a lot of our professional development programs uh, with these other foundations. My favorite part of the fellowship has been the people. Not only my three fellow fellows, but also my coworkers at the foundation. Um, they've all just been so amazing and it's been a really wonderful experience getting to know them. We get to do professional development. Uh, we get to work with a lot of really experienced people who are experts in their field. But the foundation itself also really wants to grow. Uh, the foundation recognizes that it's you know, existing in a constantly changing economic, political, social, environmental atmosphere. And it's, I've really seen a lot of effort from the people who work here to adapt to those changes, to improve the foundation um, and have it be still beneficial and relevant to the community uh, in which we exist. Coming here, I really didn't know anything about plant identification or identifying grasses. Now, four and a half-ish months in, I can walk around the, the prairies on the property and be able to identify a lot of the, the grass and wildflower species that I see. My relationship with nature has definitely deepened. It's a great opportunity. It has exceeded my expectations in many ways um, and I am very grateful to have been given this opportunity and I definitely recommend it to anyone who's interested. So. You can apply for a fellowship at the Aldo Leopold Foundation today and get to have some of the experiences that we've enjoyed.